Grand Rising family, welcome to your weekend reading. How is everyone feeling? Hope everyone had a wonderful week, a wonderful Friday. Um, I uh, had a hard, little bit of a hard time waking up today, <laughs> but um, again, I'm, I'm approaching the end of my very long work week, so it, that explains that. Um, good news, I held a baby for the first time yesterday, yay! <laughs> it's uh, been almost three weeks since she was born and has been in the NICU. And it's our everyone's first time holding her. My son got to hold her for the first time yesterday. And I cried, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Lots of tears yesterday, tears of joy. So thank you guys so much for everyone's prayer. Let's continue to pray. It feels like she'll be coming home soon. So that's good news. Um, so thank you. I'm feeling very grateful today. I'm feeling very grateful every day. So all right, Aquarius family. So this is for the 26th, 27th of October for the weekend. Let's get the Aquarius message for the weekend spirit. Thank you, everyone that likes, shares, subscribes, schedules your reading with me. Um, the information with that to that will be in the description box below. I'm only available on Mondays. Uh, my next available is going to be the 20. I'm sorry, not the 20. The fourth is my next available. All right, fam, let's go. Uh, thank you for, again, contributing to our community and for commenting below. It really does help with our algorithm, helps other Aquariuses to find us. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love and for your donation, sending decks for your support, every which way you guys show up. I love you. That's how you guys can support me and each other. And remember, take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. Um, this is a general reading. All right, fam. Let's go. And don't give your power away to a reader either. <laughs> you have free will, fam. Okay. We have here six of earth, <laughs> generosity, a windfall of abundance. Let's go ahead and keep, wow, raining money, Aquarius. This is what you're focused on. A lot of abundance, a lot of success, a lot of stability. Um, er, the seeds well planted, uh, the seeds you planted taking root. Okay. Uh, investment, everything you've been investing, your energy, you've been patient with your journey, you've been patient with your process. We have the queen of earth, gracious, practical, and capable, grounded energy. I work on my root chakra every single day. And then we have giving, you're able to give to your family members, to your friends, whenever they need your, to your community, because you have plenty, because you are abundant. You don't speak poverty into your life, into your world, right? You don't speak uh, and, uh, language of lack. I can't, I don't have, I'm broke. I can't afford. You don't speak, you know, you don't hold, you're not gripping and clinging to every single penny, um, because you are abundance. I am abundance. I'm a money mat. I'm a, I'm a money magnet. Money flows to me. The abundant universe always provides all of my needs are taken care of. All of my needs are provided for today and for all of my tomorrows, right? Uh, doing your uh, heart, your Archangel Shamuel meditations, your root chakra um, meditations, your abundance meditations here. Okay. You guys are shiny, sparkly. Look at these sparkly pentacles. Okay. Growing your money tree is growing. Okay. You're in a new timeline. You have shifted. Okay. It feels like a clean slate. As I said that, here comes the fool. Feels like the, a clean slate for you, Aquarius, okay? So incredibly beautiful energy here. Uh, you shifted. You shifted timelines because of a perspective, because of making healthier choices for yourself, staying, standing in your worth and your value. All right, let's see. Page of Swords. Night, okay, so communication's coming in. Communication is coming in here, my loves. Um, so from a night of water that's been watching you, delayed communication here, okay? Somebody romantic, emotional, and this person can be a little dramatic. <laughs> um, this is somebody that, is, that loves you, okay? That is in love with you. Night of water also represents somebody falling in love or in love, wanting to talk. Okay, Aquarius. 
Somebody, I heard, I heard keep, somebody that keeps testing your boundaries. <laughs> oh, Knight of Earth. No, King of Earth. Wow, this is somebody that, oh man. Okay. Yeah, so this is somebody that you have not been in contact with. This person here has been in hermit energy or you both, right? Um, doing some, some introspecting here, okay? But being guided. This is somebody here also that is overburdened, okay, very stressed out, doesn't are not doesn't have a lot of balance in their life. They're overworked, or you could be. Um, so the balance you seek is within. Um, as I said that here's the lovers relate this is somebody that see the angels, the angels bringing you two together, okay? This is a spiritual connection, a divine a divine connection that it, it's important to make, you know, very healthy choices. Okay. For love. Okay. In love relationships here, emotions, the lovers, uh, Gemini energy. And then we have the King of earth, somebody that is not a, you know, grounded, stable, practical, not a risk taker, generous person. Okay. Somebody that's very rooted in the 3d focused on work, just like you, your match. Cause we did see the queen of pentacles, somebody that also, you know, is somebody that has a good head on their shoulder. Okay, spirit. I, okay, okay, I just heard spirit say, if you can't stop thinking about somebody, it's because they can't stop thinking about you. I just heard that. Here's the, again, if you can't stop thinking about somebody, here's the, so, so okay, now we have a king of fire. So this person is vacillating. If it's the same person between, or you can have options between, um, different people. I mean, different energies, not different people, uh, different, different energies, fire, water, earth. They're going through an awakening right now. Okay. feels like they're preparing to take action after a period of pause. All right. Well, show me Aquarius for this weekend. Page of air actually came out. Page of air outspoken. Okay. Not the best communicator, analytical person. And uh, truthful, okay, sometimes. <laughs> um, but again, this page of air is somebody that is cautious, uh, trust issues, they research, they spy, they watch, they investigate, okay? Yeah, holding back. Uh, didn't I say, Aquarius, look, look at you sitting, 444. Four, four. Uh, could be an angel number that you're seeing, number 44. Um, hmm. I don't know if this is you yet. You could be very for earth is that four of pentacles energy where we're closed off, where we're in our comfort zone. Also where we are guarded, holding back. Okay. Protective energy, right? Um, you could be saving for a large purchase or you're just very financially responsible because you're building your solid foundation. But I'm also getting here. Um, the first thing I got was somebody here that's watching you, sees you in four pentacles energy, kind of not really giving to the situation. There's a deadbolt. <laughs> There's a deadbolt on the door. <laughs> no one's getting in, <laughs> but this is an energy of some control, right? And frugalness and, you know, miserly. <laughs> There's a deadbolt. <laughs> No one's getting in or out. What? What is this? You have the key. Is she holding the key? Yeah. What? What is in your hands? I'm getting this person is seeing that you are. It's gonna be a challenge here to get through the door here to you. I'm getting that as well for some of you guys. For others of you guys, you're just really, you know, penny uh, penny pitch, pinching or just saving your money or you know, being very financially responsible because uh, you know what I say about the four of pentacles, right? It's important. Remember we started with the generosity and the being open and the giving and receiving an equal measure and not speaking poverty and lack into our lives. What else for Aquarius? The magician. Whew. 
Hoo-wee. And then we have the dreamer, which is the fool card, be a new beginning, clean slate. There's a manifestation coming in. You're manifesting really strongly right now. You're feeling very empowered. Um, you, the, it's, it's in your hands. It's in your control. Okay. As above, so below. As within, so without. So I'm going to clarify this and see what this Four of Pentacles is really talking about here. Okay. Yeah. Here comes the King of Fire. And here comes the balance. I was looking. Uh, there was this card that came out here the other day. And I'm wondering if it's still here. It's reminding me of that. Mm. No, it's not here. It was something about the balance that you're seeking. It was a day. It was actually the day before that last time that I used this deck. Okay, that's fine. Um, so here comes the fool manifesting a new beginning for yourself. Okay, you are protected as you venture off on this new adventure here. The fool is Aquarius energy as well as Aries. Where's my deck? Okay, tell me about this page of swords, spirit, the emperor, divine masculine energy here. Wanting to reach out, watching you, Aries energy, investigating, learning. There's an ace of pentacles that wanted to fall out of the deck here. So you're manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself and you are very, it feels like this is you protecting your energy or this could be somebody, again, this emperor, it feels like this is somebody outside of you, like the higher font here, learning, higher learning, okay, commitment energy, feels like this person has been holding back, guarded, if this isn't you, um, preparing here to take action. The magician is a card of co-creation and action. Uh, you know, stepping into your creative power, co-creating here, uh, and a card of communication, getting ready to take a leap of faith. Okay. Again, this person is not the best communicator. So this is somebody also that can't seem to let you go. I heard possessive with the four of pentacles possessive all right page of air clarify that but whatever it is you are you know in magician energy look here comes the ace of wands the boom boom stick passion not letting you go uh-uh not going anywhere not going anywhere um, coming in here in page of pentacles energy and i'm also getting you not giving up here okay your new beginning is right here you have a brand new beginning here with the dreamer with the fool card page of air clarify the page of swords somebody wants to talk page of air three of swords somebody that i heard misses you it's heartbroken. Their heart's being cracked open. Okay, interesting. Ah, I see. Uh-huh. So, oh, in this deck, in this card, this page of swords is in the snow, is outside with the bubble jacket, something significant with the winter, feeling alone and out in the cold. And this, this is you. You're inside in the warm, and the door is locked with a deadbolt. Can't come in. Look, the fool, tell me about this page of air. They want back in the warm, the, you know, in the nook, or in the nook, cuddle. They like to cuddle with you. Page of air. Uh-huh. Wow. This person or you. Yep. Page of cups focused on determined. Okay. Stepping into their willpower because it hurts. It hurts. I'm getting frostbite. <laughs> um okay frostbite um it hurts being out in the cold okay um the chariot here is saying that 
This person wants a victory, wants success, and is, wants to come see you. They miss you very much with the Three of Swords. This is somebody that's feeling, that's feeling it, okay? That's feeling, uh, um, feeling the sting of your absence is what I heard. Yeah, they don't know what to say, but they're coming out of some kind of stalemate energy. They're watching you. Yep. Look, you're in their energy. You're in their energy. This person has been healing. They've been going through some kind of spiritual transformation and change in their life. They are watching you. Okay. This is you on the high horse winning in your life, receiving victories. Recognize, they recognize something here. Look, page of swords again. This person is heavy watching you um, and getting in their car. Uh, moving, determined, okay, over wanting to overcome all of the obstacles. They're guided, very much so. They've been guided by their heart. The pain that they feel in their heart, their loneliness without you um, is what's driving this person forward. Determined, focused, willpower, moving towards a triumph and success. This is what they're seeing you do. Uh, cancer energy here. This person is heartbroken. My goodness. Uh, tell me about this for earth. I don't know. I feel like this is you. Tell me about this for earth. Extravagance. Uh, uh, take caution and care about how you're spending your money and saving. Okay. To, you guys know when we cling too much, it's, it's coming from a place of lack. And again, uh, too much spending as well is, is also find a good balance here with your, you know, being financially disciplined and financially responsible without how do you feel when you spend money, right? When you pay bills. Okay. Um, how do you feel when somebody asks you for money or asks you for something? Okay. Um, all of those is a message letting you know where you are with your abundance, uh, healing, and wounding, okay, and your fears, okay, surrounding your security and your stability, uh, all of that. So can it show me here in Four of Earth? You're, you're being protected as well by the angels, so you can, yeah, be open to receiving. You can't Okay, you're protecting yourself. You're guarding your heart here. Again, with the, all these fours, four, 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 the angels are guiding you and protecting you so you can trust them and trust yourself and trust your intuition, trust your psychic abilities, your intuition guiding you. Perhaps your intuition is guiding you to uh, guard yourself, to, to put that bolt on the door, Right? Perhaps your in intuition is guarding you, uh, guarding you, uh, guiding you to hold back from somebody here. Okay. Yeah. Because you have your back, you're focused on your finances, your security, your stability. You have your back turned to any drama or anybody that brings you drama into your life. This night of, this night of fire pony there, this night of wands. Can I have one more on this four of earth with the queen? I'm going to get an Archangel Michael message here. Okay. Cause I feel like, you know, if you, if this person has hurt you, um, you're not, yeah, look at that moving very slow. There's the sun. Holy two of cups. Okay. So you're getting the, the way forward here is, is being cleared. Somebody got some kind of illumination, clarity here, okay? And this person's moving very turtle pace, very slow. But they, the sun is here, which is the happiest card in the entire deck. It means joy, positivity, happiness, you know, uh, success, expansion, and, and the way, you know, it's clear. It's very clear. So what's to come shall be clear too. This person loves you and you have a lot of love for this person. That's why you're protecting yourself and protecting your energy. Can I have, um, yeah, this came out here. Can I have one more on this four earth? 
Very okay. I just heard Spirit say, with this four Earth and the Queen of Cups, you're very cautious, very cautious when it comes to opening up to love or opening up to anyone. It's like you have so much love to give, but you're very, you're being frugal with it. Frugalness is a word on this card. You're being frugal with it because you don't, you're taking things slow because you don't want a catastrophe. You've learned from the past, but there's a, there's a connection here. Aquarius. two people feeling the same way about each other. Okay. A, ve a very important spiritual healing connection, but your emotions, you, you know, you have your emotions in check, balanced here, controlled. Okay. You're not over giving uh, like you used to anymore. Clarify the four earth. That's beautiful. I feel like you're in good balance here with the queen of cups for earth and the queen. It could be dealing with a water sign, a double cancer. If the person that you're dealing with is the water sign, this person has been very passive, which is a very normal thing for a water sign. Clarify for earth with the queen of cups, king of swords. There you are. Okay. So here's the ace of pentacles. Ace of holy. There's a, you're manifesting. You're manifesting. Uh, you're basically your prayers are being answered. You're manifesting. There's a magician, a union, love, passion, love, divine love, sacred love. You're manifesting very strongly. Yes. That's a yes. A new beginning for yourself, a clean slate. Okay. A brand new stable beginning. Oh, interesting. You could, okay. Somebody's okay. It's make, it's all coming together here. So this person here from your past is watching you, uh, successfully, triumphantly and determined on moving on and forward. Your back is turned. Right. And you're facing another person. You're giving your cup to somebody else, but you're still very much, you're slowly, we saw the Knight of pentacles. You're slowly open up to this new person. It feels like that because it's King of swords here. Place yourself who you are. Okay. Either way, I'm reading it the same way. This King of swords here is, you know, can be, Emotionally unavailable, detached, aloof, you know, head over heart, a very analytical and logical person. Okay. Tends to, uh, sword is up covering the heart. Tell me about this king of swords. It feels like you're meeting somebody that you're, in, that you are interested in opening up to, but stay in receiving energy, stay in receiving energy. Same if, if you're the feminine watching this, staying feminine energy of receiving. Clarify this, King. Yeah, very wow. This is you're attracting the sin. You're attracting this King of Swords in. They may have air in their chart. I'm so we're seeing the King of Swords a lot in your energy. Okay. Um, nine of pentacles lately. Because that is your energy anyway. But somebody here is in masculine energy and somebody here is in feminine energy. Okay, so place yourself where you go. Nine of Pentacles. This is how this person sees you. This is what you're ready for. Independent. It's your match. Queen of Swords. Tell me here about this Nine of Pentacles. With the King of Swords. Spirit for Aquarius. The emperor. Controlling here. So yeah. I, I, that's the first thing I heard. Controlling. But is prepared here. To take charge. They want, they're seeing. I, again I'm getting here. If this is the same person. There's you know. You're in this very extremely beautiful, independent energy here. Nine of Pentacles in Law of Attraction energy. And now they're feeling like, there's the King of Cups again. They're feeling like, 
they can't fight it anymore, whoever this King of Cups is. They keep trying to run and self-sabotage and try to, like, get some kind of reaction from you. But you're a star. It's like, <laughs> you're the star, okay? So it's like you, they, they, I heard they can't reach you. They can't reach you. You're very high up in the sky. Okay, nothing, you're unbullable, unbullyable. <laughs> nothing, it's not going to phase you. You just don't care enough to argue and fight and, and convince people of your value and your worth. I'm getting this person once, you know, is, is looking at you here and saying that, that their games are not working with you. I heard healing. They could be strategizing and planning on surrendering and leaving something behind. They're feeling hopeful. They're seeing you as their wish, as their dream come true. You're in this person's energy. Okay, so this emperor wants to take charge, wants to take initiative. Wants to take control. Again, we're talking about somebody that is a little domineering, controlling, can be a little possessive. Okay, this energy that you're in, you are attracting in an emperor. A divine, true divine masculine. Somebody's serious. This person might be in finance or um, an entrepreneur, okay? Or somebody that's extremely intelligent and focused and intellectual. It's like, it's like your match here, okay? This emperor. Or in, 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 the, in the law field, right? Like... Uh, just anything in the justice department, a legal job doesn't have to be, but this person could be in finances or banking or well, now we see that the king of the, when the emperor is here, that means there's somebody showing up as all four Kings. Tell me about this queen of cups. Oh yeah. This could be a return fam. Okay. You're open to talking to this person with the queen of cups here. You're open to talking. So the, with the judgment card, this is somebody wanting to come in for forgiveness. This is somebody here that wants to return as a second chance. You are manifesting a new beginning here for yourself with the full card and the magician, Virgo and Gemini energy, Aries and Aquarius. We have Scorpio here as well and cancer. Oh, so here they come, okay, wanting a second chance towards you. It could be that somebody wants to come in for a second chance, but you may be already attracting in an emperor in your life. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the sneaky person that runs, that hides, that avoids, that escapes, that deceives. Okay. That has other options or put you, made you an option. Okay, this person here, the heart is opening. So they're coming in, but you're coming in behind you here. You may feel it. You may feel it. Like I said, if somebody, if you can't stop thinking about somebody, it's because they can't stop thinking about you. This person is not letting you go. Um, tell me about this Knight of Cups. Finding the courage. Ace, yeah, king of wands. They're fired up. Burning desire. The flames of passion ignite. They're very attracted to you. They're magnetically pulled to you. This is a very strong connection. Uh, we have the six of swords here. We're moving to calmer waters. Uh, uh, Knight of cups here. You're moving forward from this heartbreak. And opening yourself up to new opportunities. Exploring your options, I heard. You're carrying your cup of love somewhere else. Knight of Cups. With judgment. They want forgiveness. We saw that in the next, in the other reading. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody here that you have a very strong soulmate connection with. Okay. 
uh, divine spiritual connection with temperance, Sagittarius, uh, you know, bringing this together to make amends for peace, for harmony, for balance. This person now wants balance. They're coming in tempered. Okay. Calm, calm energy. We got death card, Scorpio energy again here. So we are in Scorpio season. So it could be between Scorpio season here. And uh, we see winter and Sagittarius season. Um, you know, between, within and between that this is coming about here for you. Okay. But there is a movement forward towards a triumph here. Victory and a triumph. But you're very cautious with this person. Release control, Queen of Cups. And uh, allow for everything to unfold. Okay. Clarify. Tell, tell me a little bit about this emperor here. Open your heart. People closed up here. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. Let love in. Fam. Physical connection. This is a very strong, powerful, sacred physical connection. Um, before I do that, let me check the magician. Clarify the magician. But this is a manifest. A holy. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Believe in yourself and your gifts here. You're, you're opening up to your spiritual gifts. All right. You're visualizing it. And then you're saying abracadabra with the magic wand that you're holding and the, or you're speaking it, speaking it and it's coming true. Okay. With conviction, with certainty and confidence. Holy. <laughs> wow. Look at this sorceress energy, creative power, using all of your tools, all of your gifts to manifest and with confidence and passion and taking action, right? That's, that's how we manifest. By taking action on our, uh, you know, we're putting it out there and then we are guided towards it and we're taking the, we're following our intuition and taking the action steps here. It's all coming in towards you. This is, uh, you know, I I'm getting this as you've, uh, opportunities coming in uh, options because you're in this, you cleared a lot of energy. Okay. This is sacral and solar plexus energy. Queen well, you know, of Wands. So you're extremely stepping into your creative power. You're feeling empowered here in Queen of Wands energy. You're prepared for whatever comes your way because you're manifesting really strongly. The magician, yeah, holy with confidence. Look how strong you're manifesting really strongly. You're really strong right now. You're really strong right now. Okay, so watch your words, watch your thoughts. Prayers are being answered. Oh, you can call it magic, miracles, blessings, prayers, whatever. It's coming. It's here. You're in this energy. You are magic at this time. Embrace this magical moment. Okay. So trust yourself. You're embracing your gifts here. You're working with energy. Wands of fire represents energy. You're working with energy. Some of you guys may have strong Leo in your chart. Um, I did my, my little grandbaby's uh, birth chart. She's a Libra. She, she has the, the best top four and she is, she has earth, air, water, and fire, her top four. So she's very balanced. Um, Libra sun, cancer rising Leo moon, which explains why she's so strong and Virgo Venus. So, um, very strong energy here. You're manifesting very powerfully right now. You're, you're very clear, very intentional with what you're doing, with what you're saying. You're moving with purpose in your life. This is quite the glow up. Okay. Quite the power you're, you're in your power and uh dreamer, the fool clarify the fool here for Aquarius. Oh boy. Oh boy, the person that, you know, is up late at night here thinking about you, 
tossing and turning, restless, anxious, can't stop thinking about you is going to take a leap of faith. The, the non-risk taking king is going to take a leap of faith. Somebody stressed out over you. Okay. Maybe you were here once upon a time. Now they are. Yeah. They've been in hangs, man, going through their awakening, going through a pause to get a different perspective. They just can't. Okay. This is the deal. They just can't as much as they're trying to kick and scream and fight what their soul, their higher self and their heart is telling kick and scream, trying to fight what their soul, higher self is trying to, this is the end of this cycle, by the way, we're moving forward, the chariot, what their soul and their spirit is trying to, this person loves you. My goodness. It's like never felt this way before, you know, it's like, but this person's ego, my God, you know, trying to kick and scream at your ego too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lose, lose, uh, power struggle. This person here, you know, they can't, they can't, they can't get you out of their system, get you out of their mind, get you out of their heart. They can't, they can't forget you. They can't let you go. You know, it's cause this is destined, right? It's faded. <laughs> it's destined. I've got two angel cards here. Bringing this together, following your higher self following your higher self, answering the call of your soul. It's like learning to detach, right? And self-love and exploring your options and moving on because there are other soulmates out there, of course, right? But, um, and that's what you've been doing. Nine of Pentacles. Um, again, it's important to detach and let go right here. Let go, right? That's the only way that things are going to come to you. That's the guidance for both of you guys to surrender, to surrender, to let go, to surrender to happiness. Look, this person has their eye on their 10 of cups. You are their 10 of cups. You are their home. You feel like home. You are their complete and total emotional fulfillment and, and, and unconditional love. Again, this, this, this tiredness, this burnt out energy, this holding back is stressful. They could have Pisces in their chart or fire. There's King of Wands there again. They're, they're preparing themselves here a little nervous. It's like their ego and pride is just going to cost them. It's not going to get them anywhere. Uh, I am going to get more information on this, on this emperor. So whenever I see emperor energy and then other kings, I'm getting it. You know, emperors, all four kings in one. So is the emperor. So I'm getting that this person here is, you know, preparing here to reach out. But there's still a four of pentacles. There's still control here. I don't know if it's come. It's if it's you. The guidance is for you to open up and release control, right? Because the queen of cups uh, clarified it, you know, or if it is this person or both, right? I just feel like this person is seeing you like they really have you on a pedestal because you have yourself on a pedestal because you are worthy and deserving. I feel like you're just waiting for this person to show you, right? Um, it's like, I'll believe that you love me when you show me. <laughs> I'm convinced at this point that you don't care about me based on how you've been moving how you're, sh what, what you're doing and not doing, <laughs> you know, your lack of support and action and effort is showing me that you absolutely a thousand percent do not care about me. Um, so, you know, it's like Aquarius, one of the things with Aquarius, Aquarius has a hard time believing when people care about them and love them because uh, you're, you're very physical when it comes to showing how much you care about somebody with acts, all the five love languages, but it's like, you don't get the same from people. So it's like, well, in the past, uh, up until now, right? Cause that's how we're speaking into our world, into our lives. Um, so you don't get near the amount going well, in the past up until now, uh, the amount of love or how you love, how you give. So it's hard for you to believe sometimes that somebody really does care about, but everybody lo loves shows love differently. You know, as I was saying that, look at that. You are good enough. 
I mean, you are worthy and deserving of, you know, of manifesting, which you are manifesting really, really strongly right now. Uh, the, your match, somebody that's going to love you the way you love. Okay. Show me here. Uh, guidance for Aquarius. Oh boy. Oh boy. A fiery climax. Aries energy here approaches. So again, watch your words, your temper. You, you may get triggered. Right here, watch your words, watch your temper. That's what this card means, okay? Um, temper yourself. When this person comes in, or whoever, okay? <laughs> it doesn't always have to be a... a I know this person may want... I, we, I did see the Five of Swords. This person may start drama or try to create an art, start an argument or this person may get defensive when you speak your needs, okay? Not everything is an argument. We can have a conversation. Have faith in your dreams. But there is a climax that's approaching here. I get, I'm, I'm hearing momentum. Uh, energy is brewing. You're, have, again, believe in your gifts. Believe in yourself. Believe in your abilities. You're so strong right now. You're manifesting so strongly. You're, you're very powerful right now. Have faith in, in yourself and your abilities. Embrace your gifts because believe in yourself and believe in your gifts and your abilities. You are good enough in whatever your career, whatever it is that you're doing. The whole universe is waiting for you to feel deserving to serve you. It's the end of a cycle. Definitely, we have the fool here. If you're talking about this, uh, somebody else in your energy, it's the end of a cycle with this person. Whatever you're trying to create and manifest, whether it's in your career I'm seeing love here, but whatever is in your career or love, you're getting it all. Okay. You are very much holding your vision and holding your focus. Archangel. Yeah. You're embracing your purpose at this time. You're very psychic and very intuitive. I do feel that you feel this person coming to you. It's like this. It's like increased angel numbers is telling you that you're, uh, something is coming. It's also telling you that you need a ground. Okay. Also increase thoughts of somebody. You could be just fine. And then all of a sudden you can't stop thinking about that, that person, no matter what you do, that you're constantly thinking about them on, 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 on overload, right? That means they're, they're, they're coming to you. They're coming to you. You can feel them coming towards you. Tara Kinja Michael. And, and, and that's the angels telling you, okay, forgiveness here. This is the queen of forgiveness, the queen of compassion. We're going to get another opportunity to see how open our heart is without accepting less than what we deserve. Very beautiful. The queen of cups and the queen of wands, the two most spiritual. You're an empowered empath at this time. That means that no one can, can. Stomp on you, <laughs> walk all over you, doormat, push, you, not no one's pushover. You have a lot of love. I let you go with love, right? You're very protective over your energy. We started with that. You're in a really good position right now to attract in everything you want. Okay, Archangel Michael, what's the message for Aquarius for this weekend? Put your creative energy into action. Very nice. Queen, uh, that's what you're doing, okay? Uh, Archangel Gabriel, uh, meditate with Archangel Gabriel this weekend. Throw chakra as well and sacral. Archangel Ga and solar. Uh, this weekend, work on your solar, your sacral, and throat. And meditate with Archangel Gabriel. Reiki Rachel has those meditations. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help you to communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. This weekend, you're going to be motivated to create something beautiful. The magician <laughs> and the queen of wands, super the queen of cups, super creative energy. And then we have trust the guidance that you're receiving. Trust yourself, please. Your, your higher self, your angels speaking to you very loudly. Archangel Uriel. So yes, you're surrounded by angels. Um, it has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. Okay. You're going to get an epiphany this weekend, a ha moment. 
I am also present. This is Archangel Michael to clear away your worry so you can trust divine guidance and stay the course. Uh, you're just having a bumpy start. Don't panic. Deeper insights are at hand. Yeah. Enjoy yourself this weekend and pay attention to the signs. You're being strongly guided and stay focused and grounded. Regain your focus. Deeper insights are at hand. Go within your overall plan for your life, for yourself is good. But the details, pay attention to the details. Magician, energy, Virgo, Gemini needs work. Okay. Reflect before moving forward, Aquarius. And have, have fun. Your inner child wants to play this weekend. Try to have fun. Okay. What's under that? Yeah. Re receive the recognize the signs. So again, you may be distracted here. Focus. Your, there's a blessing coming that you don't see. Again, it's about coming from behind you. Uh, regain your focus here. Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Stay focused. Okay. Stay, ground your energy. Work with Archangel Metatron. Call in Archangel Metatron to help you to stay grounded. Work on your root chakra this weekend as well. Uh, recognize the sign. Well, spend time in nature. Recognize the signs from above, Aquarius. You're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open. So the, the, the universe is, 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 trust yourself. You're super intuitive. Okay. So listen to the guidance that you're receiving. Trust the guidance that you're receiving here. Tell me about this emperor for Aquarius. Love language, gift giving. Tokens of reciprocity. They want to rekindle. An old flame returns right here, right here. You're closed off to this and they have a sword over there. So again, it's like this. You, when, if you're, when you open, they open. When you allow yourself to be vulnerable, you go first. They'll be vulnerable. And okay. So I feel like you are, I think the guidance here is for you to soften when you are communicating with this person, this is somebody that you have this very strong, powerful spiritual connection with. Tell me more about this emperor. He, I'm getting an Aquarius. It's nonchalant. <laughs> that is very much Aquarius energy. Okay. Uh, freedom here. You both give each other very healthy space. Tell me about this emperor. Okay. So the energy that you have manifesting the one, that's, that's what you're doing. You're manifesting the one very soon. Your true love will arrive. This is an, this is an unexpected connection. Opposites attract. Okay. So the energy with this person, that's why you're guarded because it's, it's uncertain. Okay. It's fun. It's flirty. You guys tease each other, right? And a very playful energy. Um, but it's uncertain. It's lighthearted, but uncertain. And that's the issue. That's the issue this, you may this person may want to come in and give you a gift or you, you know, uh, give gifts to this person. Aquarius, when we start liking somebody, we start getting them gifts. Uh, Claire, can I have one more for this King of Swords, this emperor? Unexpected connection actually jumped. So this person is different from, it's a yin to your yang here, different lifestyles, different cultures, different background, different race, whatever it is, the, you know, one per different taste in music or uh, something is different. It's opposite from your sign. could be a Leo. Okay. But there's, there's Aries here. So this person is opposite from you, but it's, it, that's, you can learn from each other that way. You may have met this person at work or you guys see each other during work hours, like lunchtime, things like that. Uh, some elements of this connection is hidden. I want to know more about this emperor. This, this, this could be somebody here that clarified this emperor for Aquarius with this king of swords. They're taking a chance, taking, take a leap of faith. They're taking a leap of faith. They're taking a chance. They're also, this person is a strategist. They're very smart. Okay. They roll the dice. They're rolling the dice on you. 
I, I don't know. For some of you guys, this is somebody new that you don't, that you didn't expect to meet. Okay. And while somebody else from your past is coming towards you, I'm getting that very, you're manifesting really strongly. I'm getting that as well. It's like you're moving towards somebody else. And then there's somebody here that you moved on from that's been watching you and heartbroken is going to, that you have this strong spiritual connection is coming towards you. For others of you guys that you're not moving on towards somebody new, um, this is the same person, okay? That is going to take a take a chance on you. One more for this emperor. That's what I'm trying. That's why I'm clarifying this emperor. I'm trying to figure out who this is because I'm getting both messages, and it could be both. It could be both. Okay, for some of you guys, it's one of the messages here that you are clearly moving on to somebody else open up let love in i heard so tell me more about this emperor signs and synchronicities guiding you both coincidences nothing is a coincidence it's a signal hint message from the universe yeah you i'm getting here um there's a better option for you i'm getting Okay, you're going to that that's why I'm so strong. I'm getting that you're moving towards you deserve better. You're moving towards a better option. This person is a better option for you than the person that's not showing up for you, okay? That only comes to you when you're walking away and when you're moving on, when you're, you know. And for others of you guys, this person here is unhappy in their life and they see you as the grass being greener for them, you being the better option. And I have one more spirit there. I think that the reason why spirit is still leaving it like this is because that's the energy. That's the energy, right? Some of you guys are legit exploring your options and moving on to, to, to you know, opening yourself up to dating again. And others of you guys are, this is the person, right? That you are, that you have. <laughs> This tie with, this soul tie with. Can I have one more in this emperor? Music person, maybe a musician. Okay, but this is a very charming person. You guys communicate the signs of synchronicity. You guys communicate through music. Pay attention to that. Okay, the, this person is being guided to you. You're being guided to this person. We have family here. They may have children. They may be a father. Okay. Um, what else? Spirit is not giving me much. Magnetic attraction. Yeah. Alluring. They find you extremely irresistible. Alluring. They can't, again, being pulled to you. And the crossroads energy. Legal map finances. Okay. So, oh, okay. So I'm getting here. Oh my gosh, siren song I just heard. Um, I'm getting here. So that could be significant for some of you guys. You guys may like mermaids or watch mermaids or, you know, you can't resist this person. They can't resist you. Um, some, some of them, they have a family, but they still being magnetically pulled to you and they're at a crossroads. It could be regarding divorce, finances. That's why divine timing is here. This person can't stop watching you. This, they ghosted you. Reconciliation. Okay. So that's who this is. They're going to message you unexpectedly out of the blue. Okay. For a reconciliation. This after ghosting you. They've been spying you on social media. Spirit is saying, let's wait for divine timing here. Um, because... This person is dealing with something financially, legal matters, divorce. And again, they're in the process of making a major decision and they're being guided synchronicity, signs of synchronicity to take a leap of faith here towards you, man. This is still kind of up in the air here. I guess we'll see Aquarius, but you're in your, po the, your, the power is in your hands. You're in your power here. Maintain this vibration by staying focused on your vision, have faith in your dreams Okay, this and better, <laughs> right? This and better, right? Uh, stay open to the to the uh, the, the blessing in the skies. 
the opportunities, the possibilities, the curveballs, the surprises, the blessings, the miracles, and keep following your intuition that's guiding you here towards you're manifesting your true love. You're manifesting your life partner. Okay. Again, have faith in yourself. This a cycle here, hardships, hard times, difficulties, challenges is coming to an end. It's going to be a smoother road ahead for you. We're overcoming the obstacles. Okay. Uh, whatever you were healing from this and we're moving forward. I'm, I'm also getting asked questions, stay alert, stay curious, stay open with the page of swords. All right, fam. I'll see you guys on Monday. I love you guys. God bless you. Namaste. Mwah. Much love till next time.